statement, the member from Oshawa. Thank you, Speaker. People across the province are wondering about the impending visit of American Secretary of Education Betsy DeVos and why this government would welcome someone whose platform is to publicly is to undermine publicly funded education and funnel public dollars into private pockets. Betsy DeVos is part of an administration that dropped protections for trans students. She shields private schools that discriminate against LGBTQ kids and children with special needs. Mm -hmm. She has cut work-study opportunities, cuts billions out of the education budget, and attacks civil rights on post-secondary campuses. I understand we want to build trade relationships. I understand she's the Secretary of Education in the United States, so have your meetings. It doesn't mean we have to welcome her with open arms. We need to make it clear to her that strong public schools are inclusive spaces where all children should feel safe and able to learn. The message we send to our students should trump the message we send to Betsy DeVos. Inviting her into our classroom says we condone her exclusionary views. I will always defend accessible, inclusive public education, which ensures better futures for all our children. Your Liberal government underfunds our students and their futures. You sold off Hydro One and cut a revenue stream that funded health care and education. You aren't fairly funding our special needs students or strengthening public systems, and you can't say you do when you sell off our public assets for parts. Our schools deserve better. Ontario educators and students are amazing. I don't worry about the fabulous impression we will make on the Secretary of Education. I worry about the influence she could have on this government. Here, here. Public education should not be for sale. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.